Today in Jello Zafferano Kitchen, we will produce a natural liquid sourdough starter. The liquid sourdough is the simplest yeast for home use. It is the real urban yeast. Let's begin with the starter, which is no other than a bait to catch our microorganisms that will make the population interesting for our natural yeast. The ingredients for our starter are raisins, type 2 flour, water. To start our yeast I need whole flour, not integral, so I chose a type 2 stone ground where there are many microorganisms, ok? That's what I need to start our yeast. Let's start with the preparation. We begin by rinsing the raisin. We'll wash them using a strainer, hot water. We'll try to keep the raisin in the water only a few moments to avoid soaking. This way we will remove dirt dust in some cases, even paraffins that are present on the raisins. Then we take our rinsed raisins and put them in another bowl, like this. We add to the appropriate water and let the raisins soak in water for 20 minutes. The raisin softening process allows the fibre of the fruit to become soft but above all, it activates the enzymes on sugars. We already have it done. Here it is. Now, with the blender, we try to mix everything, but without overdoing, since we want for a few pieces to remain intact. With the help of a spoon, we begin to pour the flour. Let's tear our dough. And the bait is ready. Now let's transfer the mixture into a well cleaned jar. Helping ourselves with a rubber scraper, we bring our dough inside our jar and we use well wet gauze so that it adheres to the jar and an elastic band to keep it firm. The gauze allows air to circulate but above all lets the microbacteria needed for our bait in. Our jar should be left at room temperature for about 48 hours. Capture begins. After 48 hours our fermentation has started, we have captured our microorganisms. Now I begin with a refreshment that in order to have a ready-to-use yeast will be done for 31 days every 48 hours. The ingredients for our refreshment are starter, type 1 flour, water. This time we use type 1 flour because we don't need a lot of ashes so a lot of bran, but we still need nutrition's flour. The rushes for our refreshment are one part a starter, so 100 grams, one part of water, same weight of flour. I mix all the ingredients with a spoon. The scents that we want, a very strong lactic hint, this is of yogurt, a honey and flower bouquet, and a very light acid hint. This is when our yeast is healthy. I use a glass jar with a glass lid and a gasket. We remove the gasket from the lid 
to allow an exchange of oxygen, but above all, to let the starter's breathing gases out. I begin to put our yeast into the jar. Now our yeast returns to room temperature and will be refreshed for 31 days every 48 hours before it becomes ready to use yeast. After 31 days, our yeast is ready for the last step, the last refreshment. The ingredients are the yeast, water, flour. One part of yeast, same weight of water, same weight of flour. Let's mix all the ingredients. We put our yeast in the jar, always removing the garnish. We close the hinge and in 24 hours the yeast will be ready to be used in the fridge. Here it is, and this yeast will let us have natural and easy bread making. It is ready to be included in our recipes for bread, pizza, focaccia. The yeast should be refreshed as often as possible, preferably in 24 hours. However, up to four days the yeast is good. The yeast must be kept in the fridge at a temperature of 4 to 6 degrees. The liquid yeast must be refreshed 24 hours before use and can be used safely. The amount of natural yeast needed is roughly 10 to 20 percent of the weight of the flour, logically depending on the season. In the summer we go for 10 percent of it, in the winter even up to 20 percent. This is my method this is my yeast, and this is your method for keeping yeast in a simple way at home. And now it's up to you, but above all, your conscience to keep alive, making it grow and using your natural yeast.